Demo, we are looking at 80s movie and TV themes to showcase this, the Boss Synthesizer SY200. In a nutshell, this turns your guitar into a synth, which is pretty cool, and it is really, really good fun. I found instant gratification just going through all of the presets. There's about 128 presets, I think, and you can tweak them if you wish, but I really haven't tweaked them much in this video. So you've got this knob here which goes through the modes, you've got the um, variations of those which gives you access to kind of sub menus of those, but it's all very very easy with the LCD readout. And I'm also going to be using the loop station from Boss as well, so I can layer up some tones. So let's crack on and check out some patches. To kick things off, I'm going to start with some bass, then we're going to do some stabs and then a little lead line over the top. And Ghostbusters is a perfect example. Preset number 11 sounds like this. Right, which is pretty cool, but we're going to tweak that ever so slightly like this. So I'm going to change the variation to number 10. And then I'm going to tweak the tone, the resonance, and the depth like this. I'm going to put that into the looper. Next up are the keyboard stabs. So I'm going to add those to the bass line. That sounds like this. cool is that? Now we're going to do the lead part over the top. I'm still on patch 12, but I've just changed the lead variation to number four. That sounds awesome. Let's try it with what we've recorded. Three, four. Fun. Same riff, let's try lead variation seven. That's cool too. Three, four. Now, if you enjoyed that, we're just getting started. Check out patch 52. So cool, isn't it? Now that is going to be the bass line <laughs> to one of my favourite theme tunes, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh yes, Harold Faltermeyer, check it out. That is so cool. I'm going to record that and then we're going to play over the top of it. Now for the lead part, I'm just going to go for preset 41. Try it along with the bass line. Three, four. Another patch I like is lead eighteen. for Airwolf, <laughs> right? Check it out. <laughs> All that stuff. Another lead tone, which is cool. Patch 40, I haven't changed this at all. Uh, it's not quite the same as the original, actually. Now, if I play this part, you must know what this is from. Not quite as famous as the other ones. If you like Chevy Chase, you'll know. Fletch, right? I think it's Fletch, or Fletch Lives. I think it's for the Fletch theme. Now 
that was a lot of single note stuff and stabby things, but there's some great fun to be had with chords. <laughs> I really like this for one of my all-time favourite themes ever, which is The Equaliser by Stuart Copeland from The Police, no less. But it's got this really sort of dark, brooding... I've recorded a little bass line like that um, not with this sound with a different bass tone but this how can you hear that and not think karate kid and there's a training hard um song by bill conti which goes a little bit it's, it doesn't go like this i'm just going to noodle over the bass line but you know it's got vibes of that here we go Next up, there's an incredible rotary organ tone. Check this out. That's so good. Also reminds me of the beginning of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But equally, something I always associate with, you know, American sports. Which is uh, definitely from films because I've seen very few sports. Although I did see the Seattle Kraken play ice hockey when I was there. Another pad that I want to show you is pad seven. do rocky but it's not quite there what i really like this for is duran duran a view to a kill this has been awesome fun to put together i hope you've enjoyed it i'm going to play you out with miami vice i mean that's one of the best 80s tunes and I've got a sequence tone for the bass which goes and over the top I'm going to play but I've got distortion after the synthesizer pedal so it goes let's check it out with the backing hope you enjoy this one see you soon Thank you.